Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I'm going to talk about some products that I really really love but I don't think enough people talk about them and these can be both, some are like complete products and some are specific colors or one is a specific color but yeah, we just hop into this video and I'm just going to show you some stuff that I think more people should try and talk about because these are really 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 good. So what should we start with? Maybe I should start with some base products. I think that more people should try Nabla's base products or Nabla's highlighters, contours and blushes. If you have been here on my channel for a while you know that this is one of my absolute favorite highlighters ever and this is Baby Glow from Nabla. I love these highlighters. I love this so so much and I love the blushes and I also really like this contour shade. But I don't think that people talk about Nabla as a brand more than like about eyeshadows but the truth is their other products are so freaking good so i think that more people should try and talk about their pants i i think these are called these are called shade and glow that the the ones that are yeah for contour and highlighting and the, these blushes they they are just amazing if you want a good cheap vegan blush try something from nabla i have the colors kendra and nectarine i love them both so much two of my absolute favorite blushes another blush that is my this is also such a favorite for me i have two blushes from this brand but this is my absolute favorite no, I have four blushes from this brand, but this is my absolute favorite, and that is Down Boy from The Balm. This blush, it was pretty popular in Sweden for like three or four years ago, but now it feels like nobody talks about this, and this is amazing. I really, really, really love this blush. This is absolutely one of my absolute favorite blushes ever. I, it's a little bit shimmer shimmery but not too shimmery it's not too dark it's not too light it is just a perfect blush and this you can build up so so good and i love the packaging of it okay and what should we take more we can take another thing from nabla <laughs> as i said people talk about nabla's eyeshadows but people almost always talk about eyeshadow palettes they have amazing single shadows i have the matte collection i love this one i did get rid with me with this i think this is so good these are some of the best 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 matte eyeshadows i've tried they are so easy to work with they are so easy to blend together i just love them so so much I can really recommend you to buy a Nabla's if you want to try Nabla eyeshadow but you don't want to buy a whole palette try their single shadows they are so good and I can also recommend their empty palettes I have a few of them <laughs> like I have one here they have this size I think they have one bigger and they have one smaller as well I think these are all limited edition but these are so so good so if you only want an empty magnetic palette buy one from novel they are cheap and they are really good quality they are sturdy the magnet is good i love them maybe i should just take the last thing i have from nabla before we go into another brand and i think you can guess what it is it is lips and it is of course a liquid lipsticks these are some of my absolute favorite liquid lipsticks ever and believe me i have tried a lot of them and these are some of the best if not the best and especially the colors on these amazing they are so good with red lipsticks nabla then we can go over to NYX and I have four things from NYX as well and we can start with the thing. These 
some people talk about this but I don't think enough people talk about it and it's their setting spray their dewy finish long-lasting setting spray I love this I have tried the Urban Decay all-nighter I love this more I think this is so much better you look amazing on the skin and I feel that this keeps your makeup on longer I I don't know but it's it is such a good setting spray and it's so inexpensive and it's I think this is vegan it is it is at least cruelty free of course because they are I love this one I had it and I didn't like it in the beginning but then it was just like this is the best setting spray ever so if you want a cheap good setting spray try this and it doesn't smell it smells maybe a little bit strong I can't remember I don't have it open now, but it doesn't have... I hate setting sprays. This has a scent. Not my thing. This is just like setting spray scent. The other three things from NYX is actually three pens from NYX. They have really, really good pens. First up, we can start with the Wonder Pencil. This is... I don't know which line this is. Concealer, eye brightening, reverse lip liner in one. This is a pen you can use for everything. I use it in my waterline if I look tired. And this just brightens it up without looking that I have something in my waterline. I love that for this. For that. And this is the only pen I have that doesn't look painted on. And then two others. These are kind of the same but not the same. It's the faux liners. I have one faux black and one faux white. These are so good. And these are some more fun colors like this faux blacks. This is an oxblood. It's a dark burgundy. And this is... A when I bought this, it was the only one that I found that was red. That was safe to have in the eyes. And this has been on the market for quite a long time. And these stick on really, really good. So I really like this. And I, I don't know why people doesn't talk about this. Because these are good pens to see price. The same with the faux whites. I think these are more like... This is white smoke. So this is like a lavender... Why can I never learn to what the name is in English? This is Leven Lavender. Lavender. Lavendel. Lavender. Lavender. This is so good. When I want something light but I don't want something white, I use this one. And these exist in pretty many colors, I think, and are all like this pastely. So these I can really recommend. They are cheap and so good. Another lipstick I wanted to talk about is from Body Shop and this is the Matte Lip Liquid. I have two of these and this is one of my absolute favorite colors. These are so good. These are more like moussey if you have tried Soft Matte Lip Cream from NYX. These are like the same so it's more like a moussey consistency than like liquid. But these are so comfortable so easy to put on they don't dry down your lips they dry down but they are they are they're just I don't know how to describe them but they are not drying to your lips they are not cracking on your lips they stay on not the best but very good for not being like this super super matte you can if it disappears you can just fill in I love that and this is I don't know what it's like nobody talks about body shops makeup and I don't understand why the do foot applicator is good as well if you want a matte lip that is not drying and it's not hard to work with go to the body shop and buy one because they are amazing and the last two things are two brushes and we can start with the cheapest I think this is one of the cheapest brushes I own and it is BH Cosmetics V5 blending brush 
V5, the, their vegan line. I love <laughs> my blending brushes big. The bigger, the better, in my opinion. And this one, okay, now I just like mushed it together. This is big. Yes, a blending brush. I love this. I have four of these. I think it cost like, I bought it at Beauty Bay. And I think it was like 35 Swedish crowns. And that is not much at all. It is so good. It I have washed them so many times and they are still still the same form. They haven't lost any bristles at all. And these are so so good. So if you like big fluffy blending brushes, try this. You will not regret it. Regret it. The next brush is not a cheap brush. This is a more expensive brush and this is the Makeup Geek Auto V brush. I use this underneath my eyes. I love it for that. This is like the only brush I use for my under eyes because I want quite big brushes but I don't know how to describe. This is perfect. I don't know how to describe it. Is it it is big and round but not too round and not fluffy and not too big but not too small. It just like fit my under area perfect. I want to buy one more of these because it is so good. But I have no buy on brushes this year so yeah. But this is so good. I really 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 love this one. And that was some of the products I feel that more people should talk about. And if you haven't tried any of these products, do it. If I only can recommend... Okay, why do I make it hard for myself? I recommend all of these products. And have you tried any of them? Do you like them? So yeah, that was all for this video. I hope I came up with some tips for you. And I hope that some of you will try one or two of these products and if you do please tell me what you think about them so yeah i think that was all for this video i really hope you liked it and if you're not subscribing to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my videos and i hope i will see you in the next one bye